Alright, okay. So, hello guys. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Career Advice. So, how are you all? And how are you learning from our channel? Please post us in our comment section or you can drop us uh, to our emails. So, before we start, I just want to clarify, you know, there are a couple of queries that we uh, that we've received in our inbox that uh, you guys are facing a little bit of issues in practicing and you're not getting the service. So, please do let me know in and you can drop me on on our email and i can suggest you some good server providers where you can practice all the teachings that we are uh, that we are providing in our channel so today we are going to discuss about uh, enterprise structure and and we will associate it with a chart a chart of accounts and you know i i hope you have gone through all the blocks and you have practiced practiced about it and so today we will talk about that and also a new topic it is called number range and clearing docs uh, along with the, some theoretical part like uh, a structure of parcel payments statistical documents and how to do payment for uh, statistical items etc in our first video so in our second video we will see how you can create number ranges, intervals and how you will associate with uh, a more of practical thing in our second video. So as usual, if you guys have any comments, any any doubts, any queries, so please do reach out and yeah, let's not waste time man, let's start. Okay. So now number range configuration we discuss what is the document number range and how it is important it is linked to 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 our uh, actual front end and from the posting document to the clearing document uh, not from the posting document to clearing document and to items so three major stuff are there which are linked to the invoicing document and based on them we are actually doing all those details so now we can uh, configure the uh, system configuration for the contract account. Contract account configuration is for the uh, CA contract account. And then we'll proceed with other number ranges. Let's go for the number range of the contract account. Okay, so again, we need to go to the SPRO. Uh, then open their SPRO. No. But I'll try to explain. Yeah, uh, contact account number ranges. So let's go to the So here you can see the again I'm explaining you need to come to the contract account receivable and payable come to the basic functions below basic function contract account and below contract account we have number ranges for the contract account okay now you can see here two stuff is there first is configure contract account categories a contract account may have two categories, collective contract account, or you can have a general contract account, right? So based on that, you can uh, define the type of contract account. And then, then you need to define the number ranges for that. So here you can see there are FICA contract account 01. Here, this is the um, internal number range, and here it is external number range. Right, so they allocated both the number ranges 0, 01, 0, 02 internal and external number ranges. Okay, and this is uh, this is for the one business partner. That means if you tick mark this, so below one contract account, there will be one business partner. It will not tick mark that. That means one um, 
business partner may have multiple contract accounts. Okay, so that's how it is linked. Uh, so mostly we'll go with the uh, one business partner with multiple contract account. But if some business say that, no, no, we need to give one VP with one CA, then you tick mark that, okay? The process is very simple. Just go to new entry, give the area as utility companies. Okay, if you have other industry, you can go with insurance or any public segment. So you can go to the utility company give a contract account category category like 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 i'm giving 0, 05 it's a general contract account so i am not clicking here something if it is a collective account you can click here as tick mark okay internal or external or internal number ranges that 0, 01 and y1 two internal number ranges are there so i'm just Okay, I need to create one number range first for that. Let's try to create two. And then external number range is 06. Okay, save. It's throwing the error the number in zero was is designed as external or does not exist. Okay, it is not exist. So let's go back and create the number ranges first. Yes. Back. Back. So now here are the defined number ranges. So 05. Okay. Zero 05. So 01, 02, Y1, 3 are there. So we need to create 05. So now when you click here, it will allow you to do. So I put a 05. The number ranges I'm putting are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then save it, then go and add a number six for external one, zero six. And zero, zero. It's external one, so I tick mark here, external, save it. If you want to reserve some number ranges, you can also reserve that. So by putting some uh, starting point, oh, no, it's not able to save. Save the changes first. Like how many zeros? One, two, three. Leave it like that. Put no zeros. That will be simple. Victor. Okay. Okay. Save this. Yeah. Six. Okay. 
Okay, then six of nine, 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 nine. Yeah, now it's external. I can take here external, save it. In the shape, okay, very good. So, what I'm trying to explain if you want to try to reserve some numbers, you can reserve the numbers like you want to start your numbers range from five. Uh, one, nine, nine, nine. That means you saved some numbers. So now the number ranges are done for the contract account. We can go for the configuration of the type of the number ranges here. New entries, utility. Zero five hmm. internal number ranges. Yes, zero five is there. Six and your number range is saved. So this is your contract. So zero five. 0, 05 is saved. Similarly, I can put 0, 06 here as well for external one and save it. So internal 0, 05, external 0, 06. So you now you are able to save the number ranges for the contract accounts. Okay. Now after contract account number ranges, we need to define the number ranges for other stuff. Let's check what is the next. Um, contract class. Again, master data, utility contract, define the contract class. Now contract class also we define at the contract account level. We need to define contract class. Okay. So uh, we'll start to configure the number ranges in tomorrow's session and uh,